I wasn't I wasn't walking. Yeah, it was just random because their uh, cousin or whoever they were um, singing when I threw the trash. Killing now. They were like, yeah. Oh goodness. Pause. When you cover up, cover till right here. Yeah, I'm gonna cover my whole shit off. My whole body off. In the middle of the night, you might will have to get up and put another shirt on because you'll. I'll be sweating right yeah. now. Yeah. Good night. Love you. Love you. My viewers, my subscribers. You got your water there? Yeah. My, Drink that water too. My water is still here. Drink it. I will. I'll drink it. Yeah. I've been sick for the past two weeks and I haven't worked. But. But. It's kind of been off and on after the first week. I started to feel better, but then I know I possibly had strep throat. My throat hurt. I had white mucus or white spots in the back of my throat. It just hurt a lot every time I swallowed. But you guys are here with me. Let me get that smoke on. Did you already smoke? Mm -mm. Let me get that and spray some of that. I will. Because yesterday when you smoked, I could came in here and it smelled like smoke. Okay. Thank you. Do you want the light on? I'll turn it off. Yeah. I'm not, well, of course I'm the only d dishwasher on YouTube, but I've taken a couple dabs this past week, and whew, I, I got pretty high. They were great dabs, but the first week of my sickness, I kept waking up, not being covered. The night before, I didn't sleep with no covers. I woke up, I was sweaty everywhere around me. My hair was soaked in my own sweat. And after that, I took a shower, but I threw up a lot. I wasn't chunky. I, I know how to eat. I make sure I eat regularly, but I just, I was sick the first week. It was the same thing. I missed work. Texas Roadhouse and then I obviously still went to work at Old Chicago but the second week I during my strep throat my bad throat I kept coughing my throat hurt a lot and that was the second week that was these past two weeks I've been very ill so it feels like oh goodness I'd like to say, I want to say that I'm getting rid of this sickness or this sickness is leaving my body. Today, Monday, November 28th, I went to the clinic. They said my blood pressure was really high my body temperature was lower than average and that was it they tested me for strep I didn't have it the test was negative but I know I still felt like crap I still currently feel like crap they gave me some codeine with cough medicine or cough syrup with codeine, whatever. It's supposed to make me feel drowsy. It's supposed to help me. And I like to say it kind of is. I don't know. Just know, guys, humans, there's always a brighter side to life. Life in general, reality, aside from you watching me on this crazy glass screen.
whether it's a phone, a TV, or a computer. Reality, life, and outside of technology. Yes, it's crazy, but we got to live through it. We got to keep going and keep trying hard. Over 607, wow, I guess that cough syrup is getting to me. Over 970 subscribers. I try to read every comment. Ugh. What? Did you get paid from Texas Roadhouse? 30 bucks. Yeah, that's why. Well, <sighs> oh, God, anyway. I don't know, it was a split second for you guys, but for me, it was maybe like five minutes, ten minutes. Um, yeah, my mom, she just helps me out in a, in a way. My grandmother, or it could have been my great-grandmother, but my mom and my uncles and aunties were sick when they were growing up at least a half century ago, 50 years ago, around that time. It's not perfect time, but still. She would, anytime anybody was sick, would get Vicks or that vapor rub, that whatever it is. She would rub it on their chest, on their back. Oh God, on their feet. And on their nose, under their nostrils. She would cover anyone up, whoever needed, whoever was sick. And by doing all that with the feet and everything, had socks on, shirt, pants, pajamas, whatever. The next day, they would sweat out the sickness, supposedly. But thank you all for being here with me, for watching my videos, and just being great viewers. We're all dishwashers, whether or not we've worked in a restaurant or never worked in a restaurant. You go home, there's dishes in the sink, or sometimes there ain't. Somebody is always washing dishes. There's always a dishwasher. <laughs> I'm going to go to work tomorrow. It's going to be a good Tuesday. And aside from being sick, the only other reason I could think of me not uploading a video every day is because I've been watching Game of Thrones. I'm already in Season 7, Episode 2. Ooh, it's a great show. And I think after I'm done watching Game of Thrones... I'm going to watch Shameless. But life is really too short to dwell on the negatives and or the bad things that come into life. Just be positive, or at least try to be. When you step into work, have a smile on your face. Make your coworkers laugh. Down below, right down there, is how I feel about life and the restaurant industry. If you read it at all, congrats to you. You read all of that. That's how I feel. But all the way at the end, this is all my information where you can find me on this crazy technologic world that's growing, progressing. Technology is not going to leave anywhere soon anytime soon but Instagram Facebook Twitter snapchat it's all down there below like this video dislike because you're not obligated to like it it's up to you I read every comment I try to reply to every comment but I do like every comment that anybody types below any comment i like it i read it i read every comment <sighs> let's get it
let's get it it's almost a thousand subscribers it's gonna go it's going to happen i'm happy shouldn't we all be happy no matter what